In this video, I'm gonna show you how to catch fish over weed beds and in extremely shallow water. Before we get into any of the fishing, what I'm gonna do is run over the combo. So the combo I'm using today is an extremely lightweight combo. It'll be listed in the description below, but it is a one to three kilo rod, 1000 size reel with four pound braid and 12 pound leader. I'm using a slightly heavier leader today because we are targeting brim, but you can catch giant flathead doing this. It's a perfect way to catch big flatties. So that's why I run the slightly heavier leader. Now, before we have a little look at exactly where we're fishing, the first thing I'm just gonna go over is lures because there's a few select lures which we're gonna be focusing on today and lures which work best for fishing these areas. Okay, so I've got a selection of four lures in front of me here. And the one which I actually have tied on at the moment is a micro swim bait. It's a Shimano BT Bantam Shad. And this is the really, really slow sinking swim bait. You can almost work it as a surface lure. So that's why it's good for fishing over weed beds. It's only gonna be about a foot or a two foot deep out there. So the slower the sink, the better. Now moving on, we have surface lures. Now surface lures are probably the most fun way to fish, but right now it's the middle of the day. So I have a swim bait tied on instead of a surface lure, but if it's early in the morning or later in the evening, definitely use surface lures. So I have a little bent minnow here and a little sugar pen as well. They're my two favorites. Now the last method isn't as commonly used, but it is using very lightly weighted soft plastics. So here we have a 1 24th jig head with a squid lure on at the moment, but you can also use little paddle tails, grubs, and all those kinds of things. So you just hop those over the weed beds. If the jig head is too heavy, it'll just sink straight down into the weed. And obviously you get weed on your lure. So you want a really, really lightweight jig head, just so you can keep it working above the weed beds. So here's a little overview of exactly where we're gonna be fishing. I got the drone up before, and you can see that there's some really nice weed beds mixed in between the sand patches. So it's a perfect habitat to harbour bait fish. There's thousands of prawns and shrimp and tiny little bait around here. So it's a very good place to harbour fish. So I mentioned earlier here that the water is extremely, extremely shallow. It's probably only two to three foot at the deepest. So what we're gonna do now is just wade out a little bit, get out to the slightly deeper water so we can cast into something where we're not gonna get weed instantly. Now, this is the fun part, this is where it gets fun. So we've got our tiny little swim bait, 12 pound leader, four pound braid, and all we're gonna do is just cast out as deep as we can, cast out as far as we can so we can cover as much water as possible. I'm in about shin deep water at the moment, halfway up my shins. All I'm gonna do is slowly twitch that across the surface. So I've just casted it out, you'd notice that I didn't give it too much time to sit. So I'm gonna actively work it almost the whole way back in because it is very, very shallow weed. So twitch, twitch, pause. The pauses are very important. So you can see with the rod, I'm just going twitch, twitch, and then letting the lure sit. A lot of these brim, a lot of these perch and flathead will grab it while it's paused. So twitch, pause. Always make sure you pause it. As you can see, we've got an amazing day to do this type of fishing. It is glass calm out here. Oh, first cast I just had a fish on. <laughs> but as you can see, we've picked a beautiful day to do this. It is glass calm out here. And if you guys actually want this exact location, it's one of my favorite spots to chase massive brim on the flats. If you want this spot, it will be up on the Patreon. So if you support me on Patreon, you'll get access to beautiful marks, just like this one. There's also a lot more on there as well. So. We'll keep on fishing for now. We just had a fish on the first cast. Very unlucky, he didn't hook up. Well, we didn't get anything there. Gonna check for weed, a little bit of weed off. And we're gonna keep on moving. The key to flats fishing and a lot of different forms of fishing is to keep moving. So I've done two casts here. I'm gonna start making my way downwind a little bit and just covering water. We need to cover as much water as we can to try and find these feeding fish. Might have to cover a bit of water to find these fish because there's a massive expanse of sand flats around here and usually the fish will congregate in a certain area. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That didn't take long, so we just 
did a couple of casts down current. We did one cast straight out in front and we've just hooked up to a fish. What is it? I think it's gonna be a brim. Yeah, it is a brim. There we have it. So it didn't take very long and there's more following him. There's more on this little flat here, which is a good sign. A bit bigger one too. So we're just gonna pull him in. And there we go, I think we had four casts in this area. I've actually been scouting out for probably an hour and a half, two hours, just to find an area which I wanted to fish. But here is absolutely perfect, shallow water, a lot of bait fish. So there's some big brim around. Get that lure out, little swim bait. This is actually the Shimano Bantam Shad for anyone wondering. Really cool little lure. So there's a fine example of a brim on these sand flats. I had probably, I think four casts and we already got a hook up, so it's really, really good. We'll get him going. See you, buddy. Off he goes. <laughs> Look at him motoring off. Now we saw more with him, so we're gonna get a cast right back out where we saw his mates. See if there's any more out there. Definitely could be. It's just the perfect area to harbor fish this. So it wouldn't be so, oh. <laughs> And again, the next cast. I was gonna say, I wouldn't be surprised if we pick up a few more here because it's just a really nice looking area. And all of these fish will probably have mates. Yep, there's more behind this one as well. So there's a lot of fish around here. We've hit the jackpot. There's two, two or three following this one in. That's nuts. Oh, they're big too. Look at them, three of them. That's a really big one there. These are still all good fish though. He's probably another 30 six or seven centi centimeter brim. Second brim in five casts and it's two and two casts. So we're gonna get him back going. See you buddy. Go out back to your buddies. Oh goodness, he swam at me. That's gonna get one. There we go, straight away. Man, there's a lot of fish out there. Eh? Oh, that's a big one. It's one of the jumbo brims. Got any more following him? He's a big brim, eh? Very big brim. Just gonna drag him up. That thing is an absolute monster. Big, big brim. We're just gonna drag him straight up on the brag mat and we can get an idea of how big he is. I'm gonna say he's 40, 40 probably. Yeah, so he's bang on 40. It's a very big brim. Like these are quality fish and we're getting him a fish a cast almost. That's what happens when you find the right area. You guys are pretty lucky if you do support the Patreon because these fish take a lot of effort to find. And there's also a giant flathead in here as well. On the way out here, I saw flathead lies up to about 80, 85 centimetres probably. So there's some big fish around. And the big brimmer of bonus. Look at that. That's an absolute monster brimbo. Once again, on the little swim bait. Oh, crab. What's the crab doing? All right, everyone, that is gonna conclude our little flats weed bed session. We ended up with a whole heap of big brim up to 44 centimeters. And hopefully you guys have more of an idea now on how to fish the exact same scenarios. So if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and I'll see you in the next video.